Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, May 9th at about 8.15 in the morning. And I just want to show you a very small mini haul that I got and just discuss a couple things. Um, when I first came up with the idea of doing this channel, um, there's a lot of nail channels out there. Um, professionals, non-professionals, people that have been doing YouTube nail channels for years, newbies, it runs the gamut. Well, I've noticed kind of a trend that a lot of times cheap products are made fun of. Unfortunately, there's a lot of us out here who have small budgets. And we don't have a choice but to go with the cheaper products because we can't afford to spend $25 on a single nail polish. It's just not in the budget. So, one of my philosophies behind all this was to do just that. Do nails yourself and do it affordably and have a beautiful outcome. Unfortunately, I found out that I was allergic to acrylics and gels at just about the same time as I was deciding to do all this. So I have had to change my game plan somewhat. Um, you will have noticed that I did put up one nail video of some glue and tip nails that looked wonderful and, and I loved them, but they had a catastrophic failure uh, within six hours of the application of nail polish and embellishments. So that was that. Um, I still haven't gotten my dipping nails kit in yet, so when I do that, I'll be sure to, to do a video of that and we'll see where that goes. Once again, budget concerns. But what I want to show you now is there are two companies that I deal with the most. One is Amazon, and I do have a Prime membership there because I have family, children, grandchildren, brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, and sorted other hangers-on scattered all around the country and the world. And if it wasn't for Amazon Prime and their free shipping and just the deals that I've been able to get because of Prime, trust me, that $100 a year gets made up for within just a few special events or, or just things that I order normally. Um, last year I became aware of a company called Wish that had extremely mixed reviews. Uh, some people said it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Other people said don't bother, that it's crap. Um, well, I took a chance. Um, budget being my so-called middle name. So I started buying some products from there. And I will be honest with you, right now we're running at about a 70-30 rate. 70% 70 successful, 30% unsuccessful purchases. And of the 30% unsuccessful purchases, um, I've had a couple that were really, really, really bad. Um, but the ones that were successful, I have actually been very pleased at what I got. Um, I was not expecting, uh, if, if you think of normally buying a nail polish for like $15, uh, you can get nail polish on Wish for free and pay a dollar or two dollars shipping and handling. Um, and they were always having specials and deals and, and spin the dial and all kinds of things. So you can get a lot of stuff really cheap. And I probably spent $300 on Wish alone, which was more than I could afford. Um, but I was given some gift cards, both for Christmas and for my birthday. And that totaled the vast majority of that dollar amount. So um, it wasn't actually money coming out of my pocket that I used to spend. And the people that gave me the gift cards knew what they were going to be spent on or for. So moving on to the subject of today's video. Being budget-minded, cautious, etc., um, I still like pretty things. And um, 
I was very impressed with what I received in the mail yesterday, uh, which my husband grabbed this morning when he walked the dog from our package delivery area at our little little post office here. Um, and this was shipped from Hong Kong. And it got here in about... six weeks I want to say something like that and this material is a very tough plastic this is I had a very difficult time rip I I just had to cut into it because I could not rip into this even you know on the I could not rip into it inside of there and it was actually attached but I took it apart just to show you but the inside was not just a single side of bubble wrap, but it was like a bubble wrap baggie. And as you can see on the sides, it was actually formed as part of the bag. I took it apart just to show you. And this is what I got. Sorry, I'm using my phone, and it's, like, everywhere, all over the place. I apologize. That was my thumb. So, I had ordered some rhinestones. They were free, and the shipping was a dollar. There's supposed to be 200 pieces, approximately, in each bag of assorted rhinestones. These are not Swarovski. Definitely not Swarovski. The manufacturer is Mishiring Professional Nail Art. Now this baggie, I'm going to flip it over so you can actually see the stones without all the writing. Or what I refer to as brilliantines. Now I'm telling you that this lighting, this distance, that's a little better. Just kind of gently move that around a bit. But, oh my gosh, do you see that sparkle? And there's like itty-bitty ones all the way up to the much bigger ones. They are flat backs. And just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. The second package that I got, put these up here, were what I refer to as opalescent or opalescent. I have a thing for opals. I always have. They're my they're my favorite gem. And here we are. Again, I'm gonna back up. And I'm telling you people, as shiny as these brilliantines are, these are even shinier in person. There's quite literally dots of light all over my walls and the ceiling just from these alone. That's how bright and brilliant they are. And they still have that opalescence, opalescence, milkiness to them. They look like fire opals. Just not quite as much red as you'd get in, a, in an actual fire opal. But they have the same shimmering. This is a little better. You can see some of the highlights there. Trust me, I'm looking at the package and I'm half blinded. You're not seeing hardly any of the beauty of it, seriously. And it was in the same packaging, the same double bubble, the same outer packaging, and arrived in just perfect timing. 
Sometimes you get what you pay for. But every once in a while, you get tossed a surprise like this. Really nice thing to start your day off with. Conserve, reuse, recycle. Do something nice for somebody. Treat others better than you treat yourself. Peace.